BMW game. The fully Jarvis monitor arm is featured on nearly every best monitor arm list, but is it really that much better than its competitors? Take a look around to see what monitor arms people are using throughout social media, and I bet you won't see the fully Jarvis monitor arm that often. So that makes me wonder, what gives? Does Fully have a deep wallet for marketing promotion or is it really that good? Let's start at the beginning with how the package arrives. I bought my Fully Jarvis monitor arm from their website when it was on sale. Now warning, if you have a porch pirate that is looking for a new monitor arm, man, are they going to be happy because this box advertises exactly what's inside. But I do know if you buy it from Amazon, they will place this box inside of another box for discreet shipping. Adjust your purchasing decision accordingly. Inside the box is the top side mount, the underside mounting adjustment, the plastic cable organizer, the monitor arm itself which comes with both arms already assembled, the 75x75 75 75 and 100x100 100 100 VESA mounting plate, the soft pad to keep the interior of the clamp from damaging your desk, and there's also included parts for a grommet mount installation. Right out of the box, the finish on this black Jarvis monitor arm is nice, but let's fly through these assembly steps real quick. The first step is to attach a stainless steel piece that is going to work as a stabilizer for the monitor arm. Then apply the soft pad to the bottom with a simple peel and stick. For the next step, I'm going to need you guys to use the folds in your brains. If your desk is on the thin side, meaning 10 to 55 millimeters in thickness, connect the clamp using the first two holes from the top. If you don't know your thickness, get out a ruler or measuring tape. <laughs> The maximum thickness is about 85 millimeters, so if your desk is thicker than that, you can't use the clamp. Overall, the clamp supports 0.4 to 3.35 inches in thickness. If your desk is thicker than that and you can't use the grommet connection, don't buy this. Because buying it and realizing this later is smooth brain activity when I'm telling you up front. The last mounting step is to clip on the black plastic cable management piece. Something that snuck past me though is the two holes that allow you to store both hex keys. That's clutch for when you need to make adjustments but forgot where you placed them. So in retrospect, the assembly was a breeze but I was confused with this three star comment from a 2020 Amazon review where someone said, it's okay but comparing to Amazon's arm, the assembly is less convenient. I'd rather buy another Amazon arm than that one. My only thought on that review is, I have no idea what this review is talking about, but maybe this arm really did come in a million pieces in 2020, but in 2023, that is not the case. So how far can the arms turn? The bottom can turn 270 degrees. Okay, but what about the top arm? That's the only part that can turn 360 degrees. But ask yourself, would you really use it like that? I don't see myself using the 360 degree motion, but you might. So what about the other two connections? The vessel plate connections rotate 180 degrees and the same goes for the left and right motion. That's 180 degrees as well. The only reminder I have for installation is to make sure you don't install your plate upside down on the back of the monitor. The part that says top needs to be on top. Then pull back the tab and drop the vessel plate in. Afterward, you can adjust the monitor arm tension to accommodate the weight of your monitor. So I know you're probably thinking, how are the cable management arm covers connected? And man, oh man, I literally gasped when I saw how easy it was to remove the plastic covers. You guys don't know annoyance until you have a monitor arm that requires you to screw and unscrew cable management covers upside down. That was my main gripe with the AVOT monitor arm. But for the Jarvis bottom cable management cover, simply slide it up to remove and slide it down to lock it back in place. For the top covers, wedge them out of the holes that they're connected in to take them off and line it back up to put the covers back in place. My mind was honestly blown at how simple and easy this is for when you need to remove or add a cable. If you're a brand that makes monitor arms with cable management, please pay attention to what I just said. Now, let's talk about this comment and if you want to follow along, click on the Amazon link in the description. One reviewer said, claims to support monitors up to 32 inches and 19.8 pounds. The arm failed to hold my 17.8 pound monitor 
even after fully adjusting the tension springs. If I lowered the monitor to anything less than approximately a foot off the desk, the arm would fail. And when I looked through the one, two, and three star reviews, other people mentioned the monitor sagging and or not being able to hold their monitor that weighs less than the tech specs. One thing that I will say is, make sure you're turning the tension control in the correct direction, meaning turn it towards the plus sign since that increases the gas activated tension. So just keep turning and turning. I know it will feel like forever, but at a certain point, you will feel and realize the tension is increased and can hold more weight because right out the box, it can't hold a thing. I tried out two monitors on this arm. The first was a BenQ monitor that weighs 10 pounds. And the second monitor that you currently see is the Asus ProArt display that weighs 17 pounds. And as you can see, the monitor arm is holding this 17 pound monitor and there was still room for me to increase the tension more. As I looked through the Amazon reviews, I realized Fully has their reviews for the dual monitor arm and the single arm under this single monitor arm listing, which isn't great since it causes confusion unless you look for the small text to see specifically which version people bought. If you have any questions and you're seeing this video three, six, or nine plus months after release, jump down in the comment section and ask me for an update. Until next time, W Game. Here's another video by me that I think you will enjoy next. If not, my bad. Everyone keeps saying, Man, I thought you would have more subs than this. Well, that ain't possible unless you leave a comment and hit that sub button. I love you for watching. And I'll see you in the comments below.